Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code is Arcade. So in this video, we are going to talk about how we can perform different mouse actions using robot framework. So today in this video, we are going to see how we can perform right click mouse action and how we can perform double click mouse action. So you have already seen when we right click element, then it's a single click. But today in this video, we are going to talk about double clicks and the right click. So I have my PyCharm opened and here I am going to create a new file. Robot file, let's say mouse action dot robot. And I have created this file. Here I'm first I'm going to create my setting section. So inside my setting section, my library section will be present. So Selenium library is the library. And after that, I'm going to create the test cases section. So inside my test cases, what I'm going to do is I've, I'm going to give the test case a name as let's suppose mouse action and inside our mouse actions indentation, let's write our code. So first of all, I'm going to open the browser and after opening the browser today, let us move on to this website here. So we are going to test onto this website. So this is a test automation practice.blogspot.com. Here we can do many different things. So today we are going to right click onto any of the button here. So let's suppose we want to click onto this alert button, right click onto this alert button like this. And uh, then we are going to see the double click action as well here. Double click action is already there is hello world written on the field one. So if I double click onto this button right here, it will print hello world onto field two as well. So let's see how we can do that. So first of all, I'll right click onto the alert button and then I'm going to copy the relative export of this button using my selectors hub. So I won't need to inspect the whole web page just because I've installed selectors hub onto my browser. So I'll install so I'll copy the relative X path. And first of all, before doing that, I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to paste the URL from on this open browser command and our, our website will be open onto our Chrome browser. After that, we are going to maximize the browser window and to right click onto this first, I'm going to inspect, right click onto this and I'm going to just copy the relative X path. And after that, after copying the relative X path, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write here, open context menu. So if you write open context menu, then this will right click onto that particular button. So which particular button? I need to specify the X path of that button. So the X path which we copied, the relative X path using the selectors of which we copied, we pasted it here onto our open context menu. So open context menu will right click onto that button and this will open the right click option onto the that particular button and after that let's say i want to sleep for around let's say three seconds so this will wait for three seconds and after that it will close the browser let's say so it will going to close the browser so what this will do is it will open the browser it will go on to this website here and it this will be open onto our chrome browser now and after that it will maximize the browser window and after that it will right click onto this particular button which is click me button on the alerts panel and then it will wait for three seconds. After waiting for three seconds, it will close the browser. So let's try running this code here. So I'm going to write here robot to call the robot function. And then I'm going to specify the name of our directory. So automation is the name of our directory. And after that, I'm going to specify the name of my robot file. So mouse action dot robot is the name of our robot file. And if I press enter, this will start our test case. After opening the website, it will maximize the browser window and it will right click onto the alert button. So you, you see, it right clicked onto the alert button and after waiting for three seconds, it closed the browser. And you can see our test is passed. So this is how you can do right click button using this command right here. And I've given the X path of that button. So this is how you can right click onto that button. Now let's see how we can double click onto this button here. So first of all, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to right click onto it and I'm going to copy the relative X path. 
after copying the relative x path what i am going to do is i am right i am just making changes on to this code only what i'll do is instead of open context menu i'll write double click element so double click element you can either use the capital letter or you can use on um, normal small letters both will be accepted so for all the keywords you see all the keywords can be written on to capital letter as well the code will run properly no problem but still we are going to use a small a small letters because we are using small letters from the beginning so we copied the x path for that button right so we are going to paste that x path here so what now this will do is it will open the browser it will go on to this website it will open into our chrome browser it will maximize the browser window and after maximizing it will double click on to that button so that it will copy the text on to the field two and then it will wait for 3 seconds and then it will close the browser so let's try running our code so i'm just again going to run my code so as you can see our website is open now and it will maximize the browser window and after maximizing just see here it clicked on to the copy text button twice so our hello world text was copied let's delete this close browser so you can properly see it i'm again going to run my code so you see it is opening our website after opening it will maximize the browser window and after maximizing it will double click onto the copy text button uh, double click button right here so it automatically copied field 1 item to field 2 item as you can see here and if i close this manually then uh, you can see our test is passed so this is how you can right click onto any button using the open context menu so this was the open context menu this command or you can double click onto any button by just writing double click element so this is how you can perform these mouse actions using a robot framework so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below if you have any doubts then post them in the comment section i will definitely try to clear those doubts also like share and subscribe to our channel coders arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video thank you happy learning